Hey Adrian, great to meet you here today. Glad you could come along to Field Days and have a look at our hydrogen fuel cell truck. So this is the country's first hydrogen fuel cell truck um, to arrive. It's actually the only one in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, currently Hyundai has a program in Switzerland where there's around 50 trucks on the road. Uh, they've done an accumulative uh, 5 million kilometres, so we're really, really happy to have this product here. Um, looks just like a normal truck, you say? It, well, it basically is, and um, one of the great things about hydrogen is we've got the ability to run a truck which has a very similar sort of weight to a diesel truck. Uh, it goes a similar distance and it refuels in a similar time. So it's around about 10 to 15 minutes to refuel a hydrogen truck. Um, we fuel it, uh, I'll just show you in here, so uh, one of the things that is very different is we've got some hydrogen storage vessels behind here. So these are a, these are a carbon fibre tank arrangement. The fuel is pumped in at 350 bar. That'll give us around about a 400 kilometre range at a uh, 40 tonne combined mass. So uh, very efficient packaging. The energy that we have inside the truck would really be the equivalent of a 600 kilowatt hour battery pack. But of course the advantage is we can have all of that energy just in those tanks and the rest of the, the area can remain for payload. Um, around the rest of the truck here we have uh, a, a small 72 kilowatt hour battery just under here and that sort of acts as a little bit of a, a, a booster for, uh, for energy when we need it. The vehicle's driven by a very powerful 350 kilowatt um, electric motor in the middle and that drives through a six-speed Allison transmission so it gives us a lot of torque and a lot of drive um, to take our loads. And under the cab, which I'll show you in just a minute, we've got two hydrogen fuel stacks. So what happens inside there is it's a chemical reaction where the hydrogen gas comes on one side of some plates and the air is drawn in uh, and we use the oxygen out of the air uh, combining uh, through a special chemical process um, and some, some cells, they'll produce electricity and uh, a little bit of heat and the other byproduct is water. So really clean energy um, and what I'll do is I'll probably lift the cab forward and We'll show you a little bit about what's underneath there. Yep, and what, so this one's for New Zealand Post, obviously. What's, yeah, what's so New Zealand what's Post run? is our first customer yep. um, to run this truck. So they'll be running this on multiple freight routes, but initially it'll start out of Auckland, um, and um, it'll probably end up being um, double shifted and uh, heavily utilised. But New Zealand Post is very, very committed to um, reducing their, um, their carbon footprint. At Transport in New Zealand heavy vehicles are responsible for around 25% of the transport emissions, yet they only make up 4% of the national fleet. So by putting one of these trucks on the road, we can effectively offset around about 100 passenger cars by way of carbon. So it's a, it's a way that we can make a massive difference really quickly. So every heavy truck that goes on the road, we can make a huge difference to our carbon reduction program. Yep. And they refuel it at their depot, do they? Do they? So at the moment, um, refueling is by specific refueling sites, which are private. Um, however, there's a national refueling network being implemented by Hittinger Energy, and that will uh, roll out next year, and it'll be one of the highest capacity hydrogen refueling networks in the world. So that'll be through the North Island of New Zealand next year, and the South Island following. Engine. <laughs> uh, the engine here, well, it's a little <laughs> bit different. And um, what we call these is um, it's actually a hydrogen fuel cell. So we've got two of these in this. So we've got one fuel cell here, or a fuel stack's another word for it. And we've got a second one down here. So each of these fuel cells um, have 400 individual cells inside them. Each one of them produces one volt. So between the two, we've got 800 volts available. Um, these are a 90 kilowatt output for each. So for this truck here, we've got 100 kilowatts, 180 kilowatts of, of, of output power generation, I guess you could call it from the fuel cell itself, plus the 72 kilowatt hour battery on board gives us the ability to drive the 350 kilowatt 
um, electric motor, which gives us our motion. So, um, as I mentioned before, the hydrogen, we've got our seven hydrogen tanks here. So they contain a total of 32 kilograms of hydrogen, which will take us our, our, um, our distance of 400 kilometers as a, as a um, combined mass. Number of different um, cooling systems around the truck um, for different for different topics, but really that's um, that's probably pretty much it in a nutshell. Okay, so um, so here we are inside the um, inside the driver's cabin, and apart from um, apart from being um, a very comfortable and sophisticated environment, um, I'll just show you. Um, I guess we'll, we'll we'll just start the vehicle here. So just a small. Small uh, couple of seconds on the start button. So you can see here as we're sitting, the truck is now running. At the moment, it's just it's just taking some some energy from the batteries. Um, our hydrogen tank status here. Our hydrogen fuel cells at the moment are not providing any any energy because we're just we're just sitting here stationary. My average mileage at the moment is um, 16 kilo kilometres per kilogram of hydrogen, so it's really fuel efficient. But yeah, very, very quiet. And this is as noisy as it gets, wow. other than a little bit of wind noise from time to time. It's crazy. Vibration free. <laughs> yeah, that's great. A big thanks to Grant for talking to me about the new Hyundai hydrogen truck. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, that would be great. And check out another video here about Hyundai at the field days.